In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can create a material swatch hatch pattern so that we can use those on our inventor drawings. But I want these symbols to not have any borders around the hatching so they look a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and start here and I've already got a new symbol started so I'll just keep going. And I'm going to make the orthographic symbol first. I'm also going to make an isometric symbol in a little bit. And then inside of this uh, I can either do the hatch pattern first and then <clears throat> change the border or I can do the other way around. So the one I want is actually simulating some diamond plate. So I happen to know that this is the custom 31. Hit OK. And then you can play with the different types of scaling, etc. I'm going to have this at zero so that we can see the diamond plate pattern. 45 degrees or a scale of one, that's fine for what I'm doing. So now we've got that in there, right click OK. And then I want this to show up, but I don't want there to be a border around it so that we think it's just uh, a portion of the part or something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually select, using the control key and left click of the mouse, the four borders. And I'm going to come over here. And I've already made a layer called Hatch Boundary, and I've turned off its visibility. So go ahead and uh, click on that and now I've got the borders there it's just invisible and so when I place the symbol I'm only gonna see the swatch that I want and not any of the border around it so you can make any type of layer you want by clicking edit layers I just wanted to make a hatch boundary layer and then we define this one and I'll call it diamond plate ortho and just to test it out, we can double click on that symbol, place it, and there you can see we've got our little swatch, but it's not actually <clears throat> showing anything for a border. So that's pretty cool. So the next one we're going to do then is I'll just really quickly define a new symbol, and we'll do the isometric version. So I can just create maybe like a a three inch long horizontal line and then I can start to do things like this and again it depends on how crazy you want to get this symbol we could uh, really define it if we wanted to I'll just do a couple little things here so that we don't have to get too crazy. So again, just defining that. We could align the endpoints if we wanted to. I guess I'll do that really quickly. Then we'll draw the next couple lines. Like so. Make sure these are all parallel. And if you wanted to f finalize everything, you could do that. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. Um, but actually, I guess I will throw in one more dimension here. We'll say that's one. And then you can kind of play with that to say, oh, no, that doesn't look very good. So you kind of can play with the different dimensions. You're always gonna, almost always going to have two left because we're not actually defining it to the origin. But that's okay. So I'll right-click, hit OK. And now this time, I'm going to do that layer thing first and I'm going to assign this to the border so it's gone then if I come back over to the sketch apply the hatch pattern you can now pick on your pattern again so let's say uh, what was that that was custom 31 if I remember right yeah like so and then this is where you can kind of play with the angles if you want so instead of 45 maybe if I make it 30 you know, again, it's going to take a little bit of touch and feel, but you get it to where you want it to look. You click OK. Uh, yep, hit OK. There we go. So there's our little swatch. And again, because we made it a somewhat parametric symbol, we can make changes if we want. But we'll go ahead and save it. We'll call it Diamond Plate ISO. And now to test that symbol, just go ahead and double click on it, 
replace it. And there is the isometric version of the symbol. So again, hopefully that helps just to create some symbols if you want to show material swatches, but you don't want to bog down your drawing views, things like that. That can be a little helpful technique. Hope this helps. Have a blessed day.